protesting New York City Councilmen think they are above the law, cops show them otherwise. Video footage has emerged of two city councilmen in Manhattan, New York, who recently thought they would take their above-the-law attitude to the streets and protest the detention of an illegal immigrant. They thought they would get away with breaking the law until cops shows them otherwise, and it was all caught on must-see video. Politicians, in general, seem to think that just because they hold an elected office that it means they don't have to abide by the same laws that govern everyone else in society. However, two city councilmen in Manhattan recently discovered the brutal truth when they decided to join a protest that got out of hand on Thursday, January 11, 2018, on behalf of an illegal immigrant who is being detained and awaiting deportation. According to the New York Post, Council members Jumaine Williams, D. Brooklyn, and Denise Rodriguez, D. Manhattan, were confronted by police while blocking an ambulance that was holding the illegal immigrant, Ravi Ragbar, on Broadway near City Hall, said Sebastian McGuire, an aide to Councilman Daniel Drom, D. Queens. In what can only be described as a liberal circus, Williams disgraced his political office and said, Freedom. Resist. Freedom. Resist. We are going to resist, while a cop held him face down on the hood of a vehicle, as seen in the clip posted on Twitter by BuzzFeed News. The less than one minute of footage captured of the incident also shows officers wrestling with several activists who were on the street. A photo posted on Rodriguez's Twitter account shows him being restrained by at least two officers, one of whom has both arms wrapped around the back of his head and neck. This is not how you treat people who are protesting for human rights. This is not what democracy looks like. We can't call ourselves progressives and pro-immigrants when the Agnipe News is doing chokehold to us. Injustitia. The caption on Rodriguez's tweet says. However, in my opinion, that officer should have been allowed to use a sleeper hold on Rodriguez. One other female protester claimed she was sexually abused by the cops while being restrained. They were picking me up and throwing me because I'm small enough that they could, freelance journalist Indigo Olivier, 22, of Brooklyn, told the Post. They kept going for my breasts. They were really aggressively pushing, and I kept saying, those are my breasts. I'd like to see this liberal hack explain that in court as video footage is presented to the judge. There were reportedly approximately 300 people who took part in Thursday's protests. The night said that 10 men and 8 women were taken into custody. It didn't take long for the liberal media to run for liberal mayor Bill de Blasio's office with their ridiculous complaints of police brutality. There's no doubt he will somehow find a way to stab his police force in the back over the incident. One night union leader immediately demanded that the mayor start an investigation into the two councilmen who actively went in front of an ambulance with its emergency lights on taking a patient to the hospital. They have a right to protest. It's the American way, I get it, said Lou Turco, president of the Lieutenant's Benevolent Association. But they cannot block an ambulance going to the hospital. And these are council members who are dictating policy for the city of New York. You can't argue with Turco's opinion, the two councilmen acted like degenerates. The man being transported in the ambulance was Ragbar. He serves as the director of the New Sanctuary Coalition of New York City and was detained by Immigration and Customs Enforcement officials during a routine check-in at 26 Federal Plaza, in Manhattan. Ragbar was put into the ambulance after fainting. When you boil it down, Ragbar is an illegal immigrant actively working on behalf of other illegal immigrants to break the law. All those who were taken into custody during the protests were taken to the 7th Precinct headquarters. Councilman Williams was released with a citation but Rodriguez is being booked on charges of disorderly conduct, resisting arrest and obstruction of government administration, and will be held pending his arraignment. I hope they keep his liberal butt in jail so he can think about his ridiculous behavior. He isn't helping anyone by acting like an animal in the streets. The only thing Rodriguez accomplished was giving the cops a hard time, and for that, he should be ashamed. Shamed.